All right, brother, George here for another daily mission of the Fathers of War. And today I want to talk about validation and staying in a fixed mindset versus a growth mindset. <clears throat> so look, as I go through this divorce process and I grow the Fathers of War coaching system and I coach more men exactly like me and exactly like you, and I do a lot of self-reflection, deep thoughts, facing men in the mirror and acknowledging the pain, um, one thing I realized is that for a long time I was stuck in a fixed mindset. Um, I was all, there was always things that I knew that were wrong with me, um, but I wasn't willing to change. And you see, as a Marine, as a serviceman, as a veteran, there's a lot of things that happened to me in the service that have put a lot of triggers inside here. And I'm sure you might feel the same way. You probably have a lot of triggers in past events that allowed you to stay guarded. And while I'm not saying that those experiences not matter in your life, what I'm simply saying is that in order to get past that, in order to grow, you have to learn to face the man in the mirror and you have to learn to accept that pain. And this starts with self-reflection, facing the man in the mirror, acknowledging that that pain, that anger, that frustration is there and becoming more self-aware of it. And that takes a lot of time because... I mean, honestly, like maybe I could have saved my marriage if um, I was a lot more self-aware and I wasn't in a fixed mindset. Um, you know, I could have gone to therapy a long time ago and I never did. And I didn't really go to therapy until I was getting divorced. Uh, funny how that works. Um, so you see, a fixed mindset means that no matter what's going on in your life, you're not willing to change because you're using your past experience and who you are as a man to prevent you from getting on the other side of growth, to learn new skills, to learn new expansions. It's like you're going to te keep telling yourself the same old stories and feeding into this negative feedback loop to stay where you are. Even though the pain's right in front of you, it hasn't hit you hard enough yet to want to change. Look, when you get out of the service, the world is not going to owe you shit. And the fact is that two out of three veterans have a hard time transitioning after service. And it's even worse today is that the 28 veterans commit suicide daily. And that hits home because a few years ago I had to drive from New Hampshire to Pennsylvania for my buddy who had, you know, committed suicide because he was completely depressed. And so, and I was almost there myself. And it just took me a long time to realize that that fixed mindset was actually preventing me from growing, preventing me from showing my true self and from preventing me from becoming the man that I've always wanted to become, the man that I was meant to be, and the leader that I was meant to be in the world. Validation is something that I struggled with a long time, and I'm sure that if you're getting on the service, or you're in the service, you probably struggle with as well. Wanting to be perfect, um, wondering why more men are more successful than us, that they have more money, that they have the better looking wives, that they have the better looking houses, the careers, whatever it is. All that shit you need to accept because someone is always going to have more than you. And it took me a long time to realize that. No matter where you're at in life, someone's going to have more. It doesn't mean that you don't want to get better. That's always a good thing to want to get better, to have a competition. That's healthy. But what you need to realize is that if you're not coming from a place inside and you're always looking to seek approval, seek validation, you're going to be stuck in that fixed mindset and you're never going to grow as a man and you're limiting yourself of how you show up into the world every day. And you're never going to feel like you're aligned with your vision. You're never going to feel like you're aligned with your purpose. And you're going to feel depressed, anxious, worried, stressed. And in the end, you can lose your career, you can lose your marriage, and you can possibly lose your life. So look, what I ask for you as you're watching this video is be honest with yourself. Take some time to reflect. If you notice that you're always angry, depressed, stressed, and your relationship is not going the way that you want it to go, have that uncomfortable conversation with your partner, your wife, or your girlfriend. Take a step back, call a therapist, ask for help. This is the only way that you're going to get over it. Don't do the things that I did. Instead, face the man in the mirror, reflect, and become the man that you were meant to be. If this is something that you're needing help with, I offer a lot of these services that we're talking about in my Father's of War coaching system. It's a program 
where I help veteran dads not only get in the best shape of their life physically, but mentally. And we acknowledge the daily stress of life outside of service without a uniform and help you face the man in the mirror, face the facts, so you can grow and be the leader and the man that you were meant to be. Thanks for listening. And I'd love to see you around the program. Drop a comment, share this if you know any veterans that like it. Talk to you soon.